Hey everyone, Josh here with Fresh Start Customs, and today I got a super small but super powerful package for you guys uh, in the mail that I want to share with you guys. This is going to be the smallest laser engraver that we've ever reviewed on this channel. This is the S1 Mini from Acmere. Uh, they went ahead and sent this out. They wanted me to show you guys what you can get for 100 bucks or $120, depending on which model you get. Um, so we're going to show you that we're going to come up with some ideas like these leather patches are going to be perfect for this smallest size. Um, we're going to be talking about all the specs and features. The fact that this thing is only 1.5 kilograms outside of the box in the box with the packaging. It's only two kilograms, super lightweight, super portable. You're going to be able to use this at fairs etc so with all that said let's go ahead and start unboxing this and show you guys what it looks like so let's go ahead and open up the top here and as you can see um you got the little cellophane here we're going to lift this up and it's so lightweight that i can just do this one-handed and that's it all of the uh, packaging is all saran wrapped and then you have this um styrofoam in the inside here or foam and then you have an instruction booklet right on top. So the instruction booklet seems kind of thick. We're gonna to get to that. I'll read all of this. I'll get the laser going and then we'll show you actually engraving some of those leather patches. Um, and if you take the top off, as you can see right here is what, what it looks like from the top down. Um, you have different options here. So you have the, uh, you have the actual like chuck keys here. You've got some materials. Um, it looks like business cards and a uh, wooden plank. So we might engrave on that too. Uh, we have the power cord itself. And the more layers that you can reveal the actual unit itself, you'll see that as I remove these. And then you have the USB cord for the actual computer. And then on this side, it looks like we have the laser head. So we're gonna have to put the laser head on. That doesn't come pre-assembled for the laser head, but um, this is the laser head in here. And then we also have a pair of safety glasses. These are important. You never wanna look at a beam, especially on an open gantry um, laser machine like this. But overall, as you can see, here's the whole unit. It comes pre-assembled. It's super small. Um, I believe it's a five by five engraving area. And we're going to do all the specs here right after this unbox unboxing so you can see all the specs of this. Um, but that's pretty much it for the unboxing experience. Laser's already pre-assembled other than the laser head that we're going to have to pop on here. And then we're going to do some engraving. But for the most part, you get the laser and all your safety equipment that you need. And then it looks like three different test materials, two cards and a piece of wood. Um, with all that said, let's go ahead and talk about all the specs of this machine first, and then we're going to get into engraving some projects at the very end after I read the instructions, get it all set up for you guys, and show you guys what this is capable of doing. All right, you guys, so now that we have the unit unboxed, I have the laser head attached, and it's all ready to go, we're going to talk about the specs of this machine here first. Um, first up, like I said, 1.5 kilograms uh, is how light this is, super lightweight. You can pick it up one-handed really easily. Um, carry this around to craft shows, fairs, those kind of things it's gonna work perfect for. One thing I did wanna point out here is the power cord, the USB, is are both gonna be on the front of this unit. But that's not really a big deal. You'll probably have it sideways like this with your laptop here plugged in at like a craft show, for example. And then you're, you just hit your power button right there. You just gotta keep in mind Whatever you're gonna be engraving is gonna be sideways. So if you're looking at it in the unit, it's gonna be engraving this way. Not really a big deal. Just make sure you have the orientation right whenever you put your objects in there. Um, with that said, let's go ahead and talk about the other specs of this unit here. So the other specs, this comes in two different types of wattages. It's gonna come in a 2.5 watt laser head or a 3.5 watt laser head. And that's the one that I have here. Um, the engraving size is going to be 5.1 inches by 5.1 inches or in millimeters, that's 130 by 130. Um, the overall size of the unit is 250.2 by 250 by 162 millimeters. So keep that in mind, you can convert that into inches. 
Um, and the spot size of the laser itself, the diode laser is 0 0.04 by 0 0.04 millimeters. Um, the laser engraving speeds of this thing is 10,000 millimeters per minute. The overall uh, items that it can engrave is gonna be like woods, uh, different plastics uh, such as acrylic, depending on what type it is, you're gonna have to use darker acry acrylic since this is a diode laser. Um, you'll be able to do paper, leather, glass, um, and so on. So the basic stuff that you can do with a diode laser, this is gonna work the same exact way as those other diode lasers do. And I'm happy to announce that this is also compatible with light burn. Um, so if you're used to light burn, you can en engrave with this and download light burn. Um, this also comes with a free program called Laser GRBL. So uh, it's called Laser GRBL. If you don't know what that is, it's basically just a free open source program to run this laser engraving machine. And that's probably what I'll be using in this video but it is compatible with light burn. So just a heads up on that. And as mentioned, right out the box, you don't really have to do any assembly to this. Um, as you've seen, the only thing that you have to assemble is the laser head itself. It's going to put that in there. You'll then put the, the laser head in, tighten it down. And then on the rails of this unit, you'll see this actual little ruler guidelines here that's going to allow you to look at the top down view to get a more accurate placement of your product and where it's going to align at. So another really cool feature is the limit switch built into this, which will do a double click to notify when this laser homes to the home position. All you got to do is triple click this button right here in the front and it will home to the home position and hopefully you heard those two clicks there that is that switch it's kind of a safety feature so it doesn't go off the railing or cause damage to the laser this is a super beneficial uh, feature to have in a hundred dollar laser that most laser engravers at this price range would have making this one of the most feature rich uh, laser engravers at the most affordable cost and the lightest laser engraver on the market currently and then I also wanted to add in all of the estimated laser lifespan, uh, the aging time of each laser module here, uh, just so you guys can get an idea of how long something like this will last for just $100. Uh, overall, I think this is going to be a great little tiny introductory laser for someone who just wants to spend $100 to dabble into getting into laser engraving. Um, so let's go ahead and jump over to the next segment here and show you guys what this can engrave and with some examples. All right, you guys. So as you can see, I've got the unit all set up. I went ahead and took my metal tray out of my other laser machine just in case I made a mistake. I recommend you get a metal tray as well or a piece of wood under there, but preferably metal so a fire doesn't start. I went ahead and started these three engravings on a leather patches here. And uh, my first attempt was this one. It turned out really small. I was just doing one inch by one inch because I wanted to make sure I hit the leather patch. The next one turned out like this. It was slightly off on alignment. I think the laser head hit it. And that's where this little piece of material comes into play. This is actually your spacer for your focusing height of the laser. So what you do is you unscrew this little screw here, lift the laser up, stick this in between your material and the laser head and bump the laser head up against this. You tighten that screw down, remove this, and that is your focusing height. So that's how you manually focus this laser. Um, and then this was the, the last patch here after I figured out how to center the laser. There's actually a centering button. You'll see the laser move here in just a second if I click move to center. That center point right there is the center of this patch. So imagine the patch is underneath, it would be right there in the center, and that's how you can find your center point. It took me a little bit to figure that out. The software takes a little bit to get used to. If you're used to the um, the preset, a little bit more user-friendly settings of like other softwares. But overall, this is an amazing job. Look at the detail in these engravings for a $100 laser. I highly recommend this. Let me show you this in action with these engravings here. And then we're gonna end the video. But if you guys have any questions about this Acmir S1 mini laser, let me know down in the comments below. But other than that, 
Highly recommend this if you're just brand new into laser engraving and you want to get into testing it out and working out the ins and outs. This may even be a more uh, beneficial option for higher end lasers since you have to do a little bit of tinkering within the software to try and learn some more about lasers as well. Take me back to a place where I felt at home Take me back to a day when we weren't alone Take me back to an age when the world felt small Way back before we blew it all Take me back to a place where I felt at home Take me back to a day when we weren't alone Take me back to an age when the world felt small Way back before we blew it all